John here guys and today we're here with the Amax build that's right German engineering in your quadcopter with all of the German precision and we're gonna send it around the track at the night spot and see how it does. Amax new freestyle frame and their new line of Purple Monte Motors. Amax has really been killing it lately. If you're not aware, they're the only FPV brand that I'm aware of that is located in Germany. So you get a little bit of German design precision and just very clever design cues throughout the entire packaging and some very nice touches and you can also see the evolution of their motor design one thing that you get on the top plate is countersunk screws throughout you get a very nice three plate design where you have front plate that only goes the front two-thirds and a rear plate that only goes to rear two-thirds meaning that you do save a little bit of weight there those two plates provide the squish for the arms in order to reduce that arm wiggle speaking of the arms very interesting h-frame design but then slightly curved at the middle to get an interesting motor placement right there they have very nice motor protection at the tip of the arm and these are the thickest arms of uh, most five inch frames that i've ever seen wow 6.6 .6 millimeter stick that's thicker than an apex arm. Girl, you're thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. An integrated location for the XT60 at the bottom of the frame. That just looks so clean. I don't know why more companies don't do that. Sort of a slam plate design so that you get the top plate where the battery is going to sit very close to that motor line. And then also you have a camera plate design, but the plates are very small, so they don't take up a lot of weight. And the way that you end up placing the camera is right behind the two front standoffs which they include some two very thick front standoffs for you a lot of times you do have the lens sticking out slightly and this really allows that front post which is very one of the strongest parts of the frame to absorb some of that impact if you did hit something head on you have multiple strap mounting locations to have dual straps middle and rear placement to really balance the gopro weight if you did have an action cam up front but you also have a toilet tank strap location in there if you're one of those that prefer that type of thing now one gripe that i did have is it didn't come with any prints uh, i did find this uh session style shelf mount on thingiverse i'll have a link for that below and i couldn't really find any good sma adapters for antennas so i sketched this up in thingiverse very quickly and printed it out and that's what's holding on my axi antenna right there i did go ahead and use full size 30 by 30 components for this build throughout i'm using the t motor velox 45 amp uh, bl heli 32 eac the hyperlight f4 uh, v2 30 by 30 i'm using a ghost single Single antenna receiver that's right because i want to be taking this on a race course and see if six millimeter arms will hold up to the rigors of the night spot and then i'm also using the race day quads mach 1 video transmitter mmcx style with an sma adapter going to this axi antenna right there these motors are very very smooth and very powerful i have the v2 of this motor on the bench i actually use the v2 in this hefty Cinewhoop. This is the Catalyst Machine Works Whoopmaster four inch Cinewhoop that is very heavy, uses full size motors. I use these 2207, 2550 KV motors on here, running four inch on 6S with a full size GoPro. So very heavy and I messed up and I spinned one of these where something was hitting the prop that caused me to smoke a motor. So that was definitely my fault. But all the other motors held up to this extreme use case very well um, they have sort of these little rib things on here that help supposedly help increase the airflow make them nicer the ones i'm using on this build that we're going to go fly are the 2306 version 1950 kv so really nice you can see on the newer version they have actually increased the width of these little spokes to give you a little bit more crash protection a little bit more durability in a high impact because they know that freestylers are going to be sending it and getting those impacts so if you're looking for a very lightweight compact freestyle frame this is something i'm going to put the run cam 5 on because i want to keep the weight overall low i haven't done an analog freestyle build in so long and it was nice to get everything built up very easily very quickly very cheaply and that's the thing, you're getting high grade top end engineering for a mid range price. A lot of these motors go for 
under $20 a piece. So that gives you a mid-range price for a top tier uh, motor. And then this frame is only 65 bucks uh, and it comes with a lot of hardware and even the special XT60 mounting. What do you think in the comments, guys? What are you doing? Are you flying on six millimeter thick arms? Look at the other nice little cues. Like I said, the countersunk motors, the little wire loom that this comes with to make your arms look really nice and clean. It gives your build such a nice finished product look. Thanks, guys.